Hi everyone, this is Dr. Garvey from Blueberry Pediatrics and I'm going to go through with you now how to use your rapid strep test kit at home. So this is the kit you get at home. It has everything you need inside. It may look a little overwhelming when you open it, but I'm going to walk you through the steps right now. So first you're going to take out this box and then pop a hole in to one of these circles. This is where you're going to put a tube. You take, take a tube out from here and place it in. This is going to now hold it upright so you can do everything you need to do right here. You're going to get four tubes of liquid. <laughs> you get red, yellow, blue, white. You can put the red and yellow small ones away. You don't need them. This is called reagent A with the blue top and reagent B with the white top. You're going to now put four drops of A into that tube you have set up. So one, two, three, four. Close that up. And do the other one. Reagent B with the white top. You can see what it says here. And into the tube. Same thing. One, two, three, four. Okay, now our favorite part, swabbing the back of the throat. So take a swab from here. And I know the kids hate this, but it's really important to get a very, very good swab as best you can in order for this test to be reliable. So you're gonna to reach to the back of their throat, which is behind the uvula, which is this part here, and try and really rub as well as you can. These are the tonsils, you can rub those as well. Those might be a little more visible if they're swollen as well as you can get in there. So in order to get best visibility, you can have them say, ah, or have them even pant like a dog. Then you're gonna take your specimen and dip it into your liquid. So you're gonna put it in, twist it 10 times, and then leave it in for one minute. When that minute's up, you're gonna remove it, squeeze the sides to get the liquid out. And now you're done with your specimen, with the swab, put it away. Put this back in your little holder, and you're going to take out one of the strips. The strips are in this, and they look like this. So you're going to hold it on the green side, and you're going to dip this end into the fluid up to this line that says max. Don't put it any further. You stick it in for at least five seconds, not much longer, and then take it out. Then you're going to leave it to lay flat on your countertop for 10 minutes. You're not going to leave it more than 20 minutes because then you might have a false reading. So make sure you have a timer or something. At 10 minutes, you're going to have at least, you're going to have either zero lines, one line, or two lines. Zero lines means the test is not done correctly and you'll have to do it again because that one line, it's called a control, and you need to have at least one line there to know you did it correctly. If there still is just one line after that 10 minutes, the test is negative. If there's two lines, the test is positive. Hope that helps you use the test kit and that your kid never has strep.